Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren and I am 38 weeks pregnant. It's so crazy, I can't believe it. So we're two weeks away from my due date and I, it's mind blowing because I had Ozzy one week early. So I'm like, I don't wanna expect that I'm gonna go a week early, but I also wanna be prepared in case that does happen. So the past little bit, I've been collecting everything I need for my hospital bag and for what I would need for postpartum care and all that good stuff. I thought it'd be really fun to do a video because I find these very helpful. What to pack in your hospital bag and what I prefer to have while you're giving birth and after you give birth. So I am gonna do a little get like pack your bag with me pack your hospital bag and I have everything laid out and then I'll also put a list on the screen or maybe in the description I'll just share like the list that I have going so that you can see like things that I'm gonna pack like the day of so that I can like look at my phone and be like okay I'm just gonna grab these things so that I'm not like scatterbrained when I'm like ah oh, my water broke I gotta go <laughs> let's get started I'm gonna show you what's going in my bag first thing first I'm packing snacks here's all the snacks that I'm bringing I've heard these are really good, so I'm getting these little cookies. I'm bringing like every treat that I would want. These saved my life with Ozzy when I gave birth to her in the middle of the night when I'm just starving and I need food because I'm nursing. This was just like my go-to. I grabbed these like cinnamon apples and then some smart sweets. This was a new flavor that I was excited to try and some watermelon and fruit snacks. I might grab some the more like I don't know, maybe like beef jerky or something like with protein in it. When I gave birth with Ozzy, it was on a Saturday. And I give birth at a, at a it's called, it's a hospital that is a Seventh-day Adventist hospital. So their Sabbath day is Saturday and they don't have anything open or any like food. And so in the middle of the night, I'd be like ravenous, but they had like nothing to offer. So I luckily had my sister-in-law's goldfish that saved my life. So this time I'm coming with snacks just in case. Even if I don't deliver on a Saturday, it's nice to have snacks that you brought from home that you're like wanting in the middle of the night because you're breastfeeding and you're awake a lot and you just get hungry. Then I am packing my toiletry stuff, which is toothbrush, toothpaste, of course, my deodorant, some skincare stuff. I have my regular routine stuff that's in my drawers. So I put some like extra things that I have just in case I like forget to bring them. And then my brush and a scrunchie. Last time I forgot a brush and my hair was actual dreads. I brought makeup face wipes. Okay, that's all in that bag. And then I also have, obviously I'm still doing my makeup. So I have my makeup bag, but I'm not gonna pack it until the day of. Everything I would want for my makeup the day of is in this pouch. So I've just been like leaving all my makeup in a pouch. So I would recommend packing everything that you would want. So like when the time does come, you're not like scrambling and like, oh, I forgot my mascara. My hospital is an hour away. So it's not like I can just have Tanner drive back and grab me something. Once I'm there, you're like there for the long haul. So I'm setting this aside, but then I'm putting it on my two pack the day of list. Obviously I'm going to be bringing all of my camera gear. I'm even bringing extra just because I'm shooting on a camera right now that we do for vlogs, but this is also a little vlog camera that we have. I have extra SD cards, this camera to set up, and my two chargers for those. I made sure to clear all my SD cards so that I have space. Look at me out of breath. Like, I can't even talk without getting out of breath. This is insane. I am so stoked because I'm actually allowed to have two people in the room with me. So that means Tanner can come and also my really good friend Haley, who's filmed so many things for me, but she filmed Ozzy's birth as well. At first I was so bummed because she wasn't going to be able to come. They've since allowed a second person to come in. So she's going to be able to film. I'm just going to have my cameras as backups and also maybe just set one up to, you know, capture the vlog of everything because we will be vlogging it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring my circle light, which is has like a little spot for your phone or like a little camera like this. That's nice because then if you give birth in the night, you have like the option to have the light on just in case like you don't have a videographer come or you're just wanting it to be you and your significant other and then my tripod for this camera that's on right now and probably like a polaroid camera just to have for fun 
I also have on my list to pack the day of is computer, computer charger, SD card readers, just in case I need to put anything on hard drives. So I'm gonna bring like a little hard drive with me. So those are like the things I'm gonna be packing day of. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. I think I got this from Cotton On actually. It was a gift and I love it. This purple little striped newborn onesie and I can't believe I'm gonna have a baby this small. Look how cute. <sighs> I'm so excited. So I'm gonna bring this little outfit and probably one other. Let me just breathe for a second because I'm gonna bring two little outfits and two swaddles. I'm also bringing a few options for little bows in case I wanna put a little bow on her. So I'm also bringing two pairs of socks, my comfortable slippers with Ozzy the last couple weeks of her pregnancy. My ankles and feet were so swollen that shoes were just so tight on my feet and I really wished that I had slippers. I just bought these two nursing bras. These were my favorite kind with Ozzy that just kind of snapped down but they look like a kind of sports bra -y and comfortable so I'm bringing two of these with me. I'm gonna link below these two bras that I grabbed from Target. Some of my favorite ones were from Aerie with Ozzy so I'll also link those ones below that I still have. So I ordered an all pink robe. I wore a robe after giving birth with Ozzy literally the whole time and then when I got home from the hospital I swear I would lived in my robe. I feel like having robes is ideal just because it doesn't hurt to wear like it's not tight and it's very easy access to nursing. Oh I got this cute set from Target. Just a pajama set that looks really loose and comfortable and here is the top. And I thought it was so cute and I think it'll be so comfortable. It's buttoned down so it's easy for nursing. So I just recommend like something cozy comfy. I also have on my like two pack the day of is a comfy big t-shirt and a pair of shorts. But I'm still wearing that so I don't want to pack it right now. Last time I wore like a big baggy dress to drive home in so I'm bringing that as well. I'm kind of over packing a little bit but like I just want to be prepared and be like okay I have everything I need and like would want and I don't have any anxiety about like forgetting something. I'm also bringing a sweatshirt just in case it's cold. What I need to pack still is one more outfit for the baby and baby blankets and hair bows. I wouldn't forget chapstick. For some reason in hospitals my lips get so chapped, especially after not eating or drinking a bunch. The car seat. Don't forget to put the car seat in your car. So those are the things that I'm going to be packing in my hospital bag. Everything else I found that they provide with you, like people ask if you need to bring underwear or diapers or nipple balm cream or you know, like all of that stuff. And those are all really good things to have at your house after you get home. But in the hospital, they will provide you with the things that you need. So like last time when my nipples hurt so bad from breastfeeding, they were able to provide me with like some nipple pads that helped a lot. And they provide with diapers and wipes. But I also have a list of what I got for the baby once she is home. So I'm gonna be going over that once Ozzy wakes up and I'm gonna show you everything I got for myself postpartum. Things that I wish I would have had with Ozzy and things that I like loved having with Ozzy and then just some little things that I bought to, you know, make life easier. Make it feel a little more comfortable. Next I will show you when Ozzy wakes up everything for postpartum. Also, since I'm nesting, I got these cute new pillows from Target. Here is one of the things I got for postpartum that I wish I had so bad with Ozzy. It's a rocking chair and a recliner. I'm obsessed with it. I already know I'm gonna love it. It's so freaking nice to be able to rock a baby. Last time I was in a pretty small apartment with Ozzy. It was just a little one bedroom and we had our bed out in the living room. So it was just kind of like a studio living and I just didn't have space for a rocking chair. So we would just bounce her on an exercise ball, which did work. So if you don't have the space, get an exercise ball, that helped. But I'm just really grateful to have a rocking chair this time. Highly recommend. It's gonna be a game changer. And I that was one thing I really wished I had with Okay, so a little turn of events happened and that's why I am already in my pajamas. So I had my doctor's appointment today. She basically checked my dilation and basically I'm already dilated to a two, which is crazy because I haven't had any contractions. And then I'm like 60% effaced. So she's thinking that next week I'll probably go into labor, which is crazy. So it could happen anytime. So then I got home and then I was like pulling a prank on Tanner that my water broke and then like right in that moment I felt like like maybe
maybe my water actually did break. So then I was like, wait, actually my water might have broken. And then he was like, wait, seriously? So we went back to the doctor's office to get checked. Turns out it was just karma for teasing Tanner and it must have just been some pee. Um, yeah, so my water has not broken, but I have been feeling some more cramps down in my lower abdomen. It's just that much more of a push to continue to get things ready to go. So I'm gonna show you the rest of the video. I almost didn't have time to finish filming this because I thought I was maybe gonna be giving birth tonight or something. So I'm gonna show you the things that I got for postpartum. Things that I didn't know I needed with Ozzy that like I definitely needed. First and foremost, breast pads. They're like, what are they called? Nursing pads. I didn't know this was a thing but when you're breastfeeding, you leak a lot of times out breast milk. And your letdown can happen at any point, and when you're breastfeeding one side, your other side could be leaking the whole time. With Ozzy, I produced a lot of freaking milk and had to wear these all the time. And then, okay, so this stuff I haven't tried out yet, but stuff that I've heard good things about. I'm just gonna link everything below. So this is like a little upside down bottle that after you give birth, is necessary to take care of you know down there this helps you because you just fill it up with warm water and then you spray and it's not hard because it's like angled up so they give you one from the hospital that's just like a normal bottle and you just have to like squirt it up and it's just kind of uncomfortable so i got this one i've heard good things so we'll try it out keep you posted and then i also got this because it says that it's healing foam cooling pain relief badge to tush is what it says so I'm thinking this is gonna feel good, probably like tux pads if you've tried those. I got that to try. I also got these pad liners, they're cooling pad liners. Like I said, I haven't tried this stuff, but my friend Maddie Mealy had an extra one of these little LVs, which is like, last time I used the Hakka, and this time she was like, oh yeah, use one of these. And it's a wearable breast collector, so it like, it's not a pump but it like suctions and then catches all the milk. So I'm really excited to try this because with the Hakka, sometimes I would knock it off because it's like sticks out. The hospital does provide you with underwear, but I bought some for after just in case I run out of those. They look like this, they're like shorts. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel, but I'll test them out, I'll keep you posted. Oh, another must have, gripe water. This stuff is amazing. Ozzy still gets the hiccups today. She used to get the hiccups like every day when she was a baby. So we would just give her like a little bit of gripe water. Immediately hiccups were gone. I'm a believer in this gripe water. And I also got some of these cooling gel. They're called Suvies cooling gel pads. It's supposed to be instant relief for your nipples, which can a lot of times get really painful in the beginning of breastfeeding because they're super raw. Just getting used to it can be painful. For me, it was like the first two weeks and then after that, it was okay. Okay, another must have for me is the Outlet. This one is the one I used for Ozzy. I just charged it so everything was ready to go. This saved my mental state with Ozzy. It comes with like a few different socks. Probably start out with the tiny one first. Just knowing, like having the peace of mind for me was huge because before using the outlet, like I could not sleep good. I would recommend it if you're an anxious person. I get pretty anxious, especially after having babies. I just ordered this little baby monitor to have in my room because now that we're in a bigger house than we were with Ozzy, I just wanna be able to hear her if she's napping. I also have a Wise camera, which is just from Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. I think it's like 20 bucks. It's been a great camera. I use it for Ozzy's room. You can watch it like on your phone. Like it's a monitor on your phone. And then if you're also planning on breastfeeding, it is very important to know that if you have extra milk, you're gonna need milk bags to freeze in the freezer so you can keep your excess milk in case you ever wanna go out for a date night or if you want your partner to do a feeding one of the nights, it's a must. I think I also bought nipple balm, but I think Ozzy might have thrown it away because she's really into that lately. So I might need to get some more, but that is everything I would recommend on the postpartum journey for yourself. A lot of things people don't talk about, I feel like, and a lot of things come as a shock. Like a lot of people talk about giving birth, not a lot of people talk about, you know, mom's healing from giving birth. So I think it's just really useful for me, at least.
ways to see people what they like to use and what works for them. Those are what I have in my box for. Oh yeah, I have one more thing. Oh, it's so hard to get up. I also got gifted this at my baby shower. It's the Instant Ice Pack Maxi Pads. They're ice packs that you stick in your underwear like as a pad and it just, you know, does what it says. It's a cooling ice pack, so really excited to try those. Oh, and then I also bought this little gadget from Target that is a binky sterilizer, which will come in very good handy because they fall a lot and they get gross. Having this will be really nice. You just stick in the binky and then it sterilizes it, I guess. <laughs> Another couple of things I have for the baby are a little, I'll show you. I got this little bath like seat for her from Target as well. What else? I'll take you over here. Okay, so I have a bassinet. This isn't gonna go in there when she sleeps in there, but this is the Snuggle Me Organic. And I also bought some newborn diapers <laughs> and some size ones as well, just in case she grows fast. That's like all the necessities I feel like you need. Okay, so the rest of the stuff I just packed in some more on Ozzy's bag. I packed in a couple of swaddles and then one more outfit and a couple of bows. That is ready to go. I have my list ready to go. We're doing like one more load of laundry of Ozzy's old clothes so that we can have those ready for her when we get home from the hospital. I'm just feeling like I really need to prepare everything. The other thing I'm going to do, if you are not a first time mom, I obviously have Ozzy to think about when I'm at the hospital for my babysitter, whoever I end up using at the time if my mom is not here. I am going to write out like an itinerary of what she likes to do when she goes to sleep, like little tips on how to get her to nap better or go to sleep at night. Just little tips and tricks for a little Aussie girl so that I don't have to worry about that when I'm in the hospital. A couple of things that are still out in our storage that I forgot to mention are bottles, binkies. We have brand new binkies for her and an electric pump because sometimes to get your milk supply up, you need to pump with an actual pump and that will help people with their milk supply. Those are other things that I would also recommend having for you and the baby ready when you get home. I usually, with Ozzy, I didn't use the binky until she was, I think, four weeks old, and then I didn't use a bottle. I made sure to wait that same amount of time for a bottle just so that she didn't get nipple confusion, so that she continued to breastfeed. That's just the opinion that my doctor told me. There's a lot of different opinions on it. Do whatever feels right for you because you know best, you're the mom. But yeah. Okay, that video was a lot of information, but I really find these videos helpful, and so I wanted to make my own so that if you were ever wondering what goes in hospital bags or like what you should have prepared for you when you get home, you can, you know, circle back to this video and watch it. It'll honestly help me next time I get ready for the next baby. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Again, I'm just gonna have Tanner link everything in the description and we will see if I make it another week to my next doctor's appointment on next Monday. That scare tonight was so funny. I was like, uh, is this happening? Like, I'm not necessarily fully prepared for this, like mentally and also the house needs to be clean and just all these little things. So I'm excited that I have at least a few more days to go before we might be in labor we'll see love you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked this video please don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel we will be having this baby soon and we really want you to come along the journey with us we will be vlogging it oh we're so excited to grow this family i can't believe it's happening don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you don't miss it when the baby comes thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next